I relapsed yesterday. If you're not an old viewer, you might not remember this, but years ago, I was at my lowest point in my streaming career. It's about four years ago. I was bright and starry-eyed, dreaming of being the next soda poppin', maybe one day getting 20,000 subscribers at once. And then my chat urged me to play an MMO called Toontown. I didn't really know much. I remembered playing it as a kid and thought it'd be fun to live through the nostalgia. So with enough chat support, I booted it up. I had about 25 viewers when I first started playing. And I made my character and I was down to 20 viewers. And I bought my first gag and I was at 15. And I finished all the tutorials and I was at about 10 viewers. I was looking at chat but no one was actually typing. And it's on a second monitor, so I kept doing this. Until finally, some soldier in my chat typed out, stop looking over here, there's no one typing. And I felt so embarrassed that I immediately stopped playing the game and swore off any MMO for the rest of my streaming career. Until yesterday. Because I lost a bet to German 985, I had to play Toontown, uh, Toontown Rewritten, the fan-made version of the game. It was okay, you know, it's a 15-year-old game and kind of plays like a 15-year-old game. It's pretty wonky and the graphics are off, the sound design's not the best, and the gameplay is not the most fun, but the nostalgia holds up. And there's a thriving community for a reason, because they hold on to that nostalgia with their hearts. Now, you guys might not have played Toontown growing up, I don't blame you, it wasn't the most popular MMO out there, but you probably at some point played Club Penguin. If even to just go on there and say, I'm having sex with your mother to get banned within a minute and then laugh at yourself and move on with your day, you probably made an account. Over 100 million people did. And Club Penguin, as you might know, died five years ago when Disney stopped updating the servers. And so fans didn't stand for this. They made their own version called Club Penguin Rewritten in the same vein that Toontown has Toontown Rewritten. It's like an honest rebuilding of the game with private servers that anyone can access. But today, they were taken down by Big Mickey Mouse. Take a look. This is the new page. If you go to the Club Penguin rewritten website, it now says City of London. The site has been taken over by Operation Creative Police Intellectual Property Crime Unit, PIPCU. This is like what happens when there's a drug bust. When you find the biggest ketamine dealer in London and, and bust down their doors and find drawers full of kitchen knives and in and, and, and Tesco's meal deals and the likes of it. It's not for a, a children's game. It's overkill. But they've taken them down. Now, there's some theories as to why this happened. There's two main theories right now. The first one is because the Club Penguin rewritten staff were making money off the website. They had some ads running on it. As you can see, Adobe here. There's an ad on the left here for PayPal. And Atrioc bought an ad for NVIDIA. Even a Sony ad here. So, so they, were, they were making money. So maybe Disney was mad that people were making money. Uh, you know, Disney has this weird thing where even if they're not dipping their hand into their own cookie jar, no one else can. It's the sweet, sweet touch of Mickey Mouse copyright. Only they can make money. And if they shut down and don't have any interest in making money anymore, then it's supposed to die. And that's all you can do about it. So that's theory number one. Theory number two is a, is a little darker of a, a seedier theory where um, Club Penguin Rewritten isn't the only fan-made version of the game. There's a, a lot of YouTube videos and, and video essays about this that you can look up. But a couple years ago, Club Penguin Online was taking the internet by storm. It was the new remake of the game that was trying to rebuild it for a modern audience. But they went a little far with it. They removed all the filters so you could say any homophobic or racist slur you wanted to. There were people having rampant penguin sex, marriages, divorce. I mean, it, it was riddled with controversy. If you walked into any igloo, you might just see the N-word painted on the walls. Like any of those houses with a Confederate flag outside their homes. It, it, probably the same decor inside those houses down south as these igloos in Club Penguin Online. So the theory goes... That Nintendo, or excuse me, Disney, all right, the, the other fucker, saw these houses and saw this Club Penguin online, axed that, and then were like, oh, Club Penguin rewritten. Let's just, let's just stop this before it becomes racist, even though it was just fans trying to relive the nostalgia of their childhood. So it's now dead. Disney has destroyed yet another fan base in, in their love of it. Maybe it'll come back. This has happened to them before. They have been DMCA striked and 
And, you know, fans are, if anything, uh, determined to keep what they love alive. Uh, and if you guys have any nostalgia with Toontown, check out Toontown Rewritten. It's a cool game. Uh, maybe Club Penguin Rewritten will come back. But for now, uh, Big Mickey dicking down everybody in his sight. And, uh, you know, all you can do is take the load. Thanks for watching, everybody. And Ludwig 7 to Club Penguin.